Hey guys, welcome back to Top Tipper Betting Tips. I trust you had a fantastic weekend of racing and you had a fantastic new year and we wish you all the best for the coming year 2023. We're going to have the postman tipping out at Turfentain, so I'm going to hand you over to the postman for his analysis. Yeah, good morning, good afternoon or good evening, no matter where in the world you guys are. And a big warm welcome to the Top Tipper family and all the best for 2023. I hope the new year brings you lots of winners and let's see if we can uh, jump off on a winning uh, track at Turfentain. Turfentain is 2nd of Jan, and nine races carded, first is Joff at 12.15. Guys, please just excuse me, I'm battling here. Um, we don't have electricity, so I've got torches and lights and all that, so the Preview is not going to be that long. First race, guys, I do not like any of the race runners. Um, and for that reason, my first selection here would be horse number 12, Silver Princess, this daughter of Daniel Boone, very, very well bred. Um, Keegan DeMello rides this one for the Van Furen Yard. And we know that this has been nominated on several occasions, has been scratched, so could have a couple of problems, but has been backed on all occasions. For second, I've gone for the stable companion, number nine, Brosnan. This is Gav Lorena for the Van Furen Yard. And again, I think that the son of Fly the Flag um, doesn't have to be too special and certainly can run the drum here. We're going to take uh, swingers and exactors at top tipper, 12 and 9. For third, I've gone for the other first-timer, African Twilight, Calvin Abib for the Binder Yard. And as I said, I don't like any of the race runners, so I've gone for the three first-timers. For fourth, I have gone for horse number two. This is Iron Sky. This has had four fair um, efforts. Gabella Mazziani retains her idea for Stuby Pettigrew. If I'm looking for a negative, drawn on the inside, um, I heard from our mates in uh, Gauteng that they have had rain. So please, guys, just watch, especially the first race, and see if there's any draw bias. Generally, if there's a draw bias, we've got to look at outside draws. But the first race, I've gone 12, 9, 8, and 2. The second race in the card, Joff at 12.50. Maiden plate for the girls over 1,400 meters. And this will be the first leg of our bipod. And in this event, my first selection, I think it's a two-horse race. My first selection is horse 11, October Fair. Uh, Calvin Habib for the Terry Yard. Um, has had two decent efforts, finishing fourth three lengths uh, behind nice move last time out. Um, I certainly think that um, this one will get a peach of a ride from Calvin. I know it's coming back from an 11-week layoff, but I do think it's a horse to beat. For second, I've gone for the 12, written in the sand. Gav Lorena for the Habib Yard. We saw Fabian have a nice treble the other day. Gavin rode one uh, of those winners and I certainly think that the 12 must uh, be included in our bipod. If it was drawn better I could certainly banker it. For third we've gone for number nine. This is Call to Glory, uh, Ray Randall Simons for the Alec Laird Yard. I'm certainly looking for an improved effort uh, on that occasion. Um, very very nasty bread uh, daughter of uh, Kingman and as, as I said looking for an improved effort uh, from this one for fourth have gone for the 10 this is follow the flow JP with an over for Mike to cock uh, has had one run was many many lengths behind a top short uh, feather boa uh, marked it throw this one in the deep end has been rested uh, since but I think in this field I certainly think that this one um, at a long Price is good enough to fill in one of the minor, the minor roles. I don't really like the race. Um, I'm not going to get too involved here. But the bar pot, I think 11 and 12 should be sufficient. Guys, we move on to the third race. And the third race is the first leg of our place accumulator. And in the third race, we find my first value bet. The third race is due off at 13.25, another maiden plate over 1,400 metres. And in the third race, my first selection here is horse number four. This is Brave Viking. Samanga Kamalo uh, retains a ride here for Joey Somo. 
Um, third run after a rest. Last time out, finished four and a half lengths behind Melech. We know that Melech is a decent sort. Um, Brave Viking has run to some fair sorts. And I think around about uh, six, seven to one, I think is a nice little each way bet. For second, guys, I've thrown in the 10. Uh, free movement. Caden Brewer for uh, Robbie Sage. Again, has had one uh, run. Was a decent effort. Was uh, punted in on that occasion. Uh, big negative. Drawn 12 out of 12. We need a lot of luck in the running. For third, I have gone for horse number seven. Uh, Archimedes. Randall Simons for Philip Labaskachny. Again, two decent efforts. I think this one will jump. We'll go to the front. Um, and should be good enough to run a drum. For fourth, we've gone for the 12. This is Silvano's song. Gabella Mazziani for Stewie Pettigrew. Um, I certainly think that this can improve on its last run, and I think good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets. So when we look at the third race, guys, we've gone 4, 10, 7, 12, and as I said, I think 4 is a nice value bet. We move on to the fourth race on the card. This would be the first leg of our pick six. And I don't like this race, guys. I think it's very, very open. Uh, fourth race at Jorf at 1,400 hours of Pinnacle Stakes over 1,400 meters. And in this event, my narrow first selection here is horse number three. Under your spell, carving a bit for Sean Terry. Um, third run after rest. Ran second in a grade two. Um, should jump, should be handy. Big negative, drawn 12 out of 12. We'll need a lot of luck from that draw. For second, I have thrown in horse number 10. And this is Humdinger, Cabela Mazziani for Mike de Kock. I'm putting a line through the last effort. I think um, it's a lot better than that one. Um, nice, you drawn at four. Again, I think Humdinger will jump. I think it will sit up there. And should certainly give a decent account of itself. For third, I've gone for horse number one. And horse number one is Prince of Fire. Kicking the medal for the Fanfuren Yard. Um, wasn't a bad effort last time. Five and a half lengths behind William Robertson in a grade two. Um, was drawn in the sticks. Um, they did give it a 13-week layoff after that, and I'm looking for an approved effort from that one, and I think can run a place. For fourth, I have gone for the five out of the darkness, Gavlerina for the Fanfuren Yard. Um, was not a bad effort behind Duke of Sussex last time out, and can give a decent account of itself. So race four, I've gone three, ten, one, and five. We we'll move on to the fifth race. First leg of jackpot one, Dwarf at 1435. And this is a grade three Tony Ruffle stake. And in this race, we find the best bet on the card. For me, this is horse number two, Royal Victory. Samango Kamalo gets the ride here for Nathan Cotson. Nicely drawn at one. Uh, last time out was not disgraced in the grade two, two and a half lengths behind Union Square. Was drawn really, really bad on that occasion. And again, certainly, certainly, certainly um, must go closer. And as I said, I think even money, 11 to 10, take as much as you can. And I certainly think that Royal Victory will be very, very hard to beat. Banker for me in all bets. For second, I have gone for the obvious danger, horse number one, Thunderstruck, carving a bit for the Terry Yard. And as I said, I think that will run second. Um, I'm not going to talk much here. For third, I've gone for horse number four, Golden Prospect. Uh, good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets. And for fourth, I've gone for the three. Uh, now I've got you. So rates five, two, one, four, and three. And I really think that two is a good bet, as I said. 11 to 10, 12 to 10, even money. I'm taking we going to lump on. We move on to the sixth race of the card. This is due off at 15.05. This is a three... Uh, the three Troika stakes, a grade three, over 1,400 meters. And in this event here, my first selection here is horse number three, Bless My Stars. Samanga Kamala for Sean Terry. I think Samanga will uh, get the double here. Um, see if we can get four to one, five to one for the double. I think Bless My Stars is the right one here. For second, ach, my apologies, not Bless It. 
my first selection is the three rock the fox my apologies um and i think terry will win this one with calvin habib for second i have gone for bless my stars and for third a throne in horse number one uh, miss cool muzigeni for candace dawson drawn a bit wide but can certainly give a decent account of itself for fourth we've gone for the four queen of smoke randall simons for stewie pettigrew Again, uh, good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets. So race six, please, guys, take note. It's three, two, one, and four. And for us, a double is race five, number two, on to race six, number three. We'll move on to the seventh race on the card. And the seventh race is due off at 15.35. Another grade three, London New Stakes, over 1,800 meters. And when we go through... And this event, my first selection here is Porto Manzano, Keegan de Mello for the Van Furen Yard. Um, Keegan won on this one last night in a grade one over 2000. I do think that the 1800 will suit this one down to the ground, and I think whatever beats the one will win the race. For second, I've gone for horse number five, Electric Gold. Uh, Muzieni gets a ride here for Stu, uh, for Sean Terry. Um, nice galloping mass of 51. Um, ran, uh, won a really good race last summer. Time before that, five lengths to Union Square. Not a bad effort. Um, again, with 51, must be included in all exotics. For third, we've gone for the two. And this is Red Saxon, Salanga Kamala for Joey Somo. Um, won a pinnacle last time out really, really well. And again, for me, good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets. For fourth, we've gone for the ever consistent three, second base. Gavlerina for Johan Janssen van Furen. And again, I think that that one is good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets. Um, smaller punters, one and five. Larger punters, so the red section in as well. We we'll move on to the eighth race on the card, guys. And the eighth race is due off at uh, 16.05. A meter rated 94 handicap for the girls over 1,600 meters. Um, I think this is quite an open event. And my narrow first selection here would be horse number nine. Silver Hills. Cabela Mazziani for Sean Terry. Uh, nasty drawn at five. Um, one maiden first some art. One really, really well. Could be anything, and again, um, as I said, in an open event, has to be thrown in. For second, I've gone for the obvious, Tulip Tree, um, has won two in the trot. Jeff Seister gets a ride here for Stewie Pettigrew, nice handy galloping mass of 52. Second run after rest, and I certainly think that this one must be thrown in as well. For third, we've gone for the horse one, uh, Terra Time. Marker for Rensburg for Lucky with Alarcus. Uh, Marker gets on well with this one here. Um, last time I'd run third behind Gilded Butterfly. I think this will jump. Uh, nicely drawn at one. Um, will sit handy. Um, and again, as I said, it was not just Grace in a grade three last time out. We'll give a decent account of itself. For fourth, we've gone for horse number five, Wakanda. Uh, Muzigeni for Roy Magna. Roy's yard has been really, really top form. Um, third run after rest, and again, I'm thinking Wakanda may reverse the form on Bureau de la Zone. So race 9, 9, 8, 1, and 5. Guys, we move on to the lucky last. And this is due off at 16.35, made rate of 75 handicap for the girls, over 1,600 meters. And here, guys, putting as many as the budget would allow. Uh, narrow first selection is 2. And this is Gimme a Light, Dega de Gavea for Paulie Matchett. Dega's winner on both occasions, two very, very good runs, nicely drawn at one. Um, should be running on when others have cried enough, uh, must be included. For second, we've gone for the four, nice rough here, Vickle Spickle. Um, Gavlerina for Erica Verdonese, drawn a little wide, did have excuses last time out, um, and again, in an open uh, field, I think Vickel Spickel has got a chance. For third, we've gone for the ultra-consistent uh, Pascal Samoa. Matthew Thackeray retains the ride here for the Wai Shang Mao Yard. 
has won three in a trot. Um, again, I don't see too much pace in this race. If uh, Matthew can get this one out and get this mare um, to the front um, very, very easily, again, they will battle to get to this one. And I certainly wouldn't be leaving this one out for fourth. We've gone for the five. We've gone for quantum. Randall Simons for Alec Led. This one mid rate is 75 last time out, uh, beating Chuse Azul. Um, did run on on that occasion. Must be included. Guys, for larger perms, throw in the seven and the one as well. Um, really, really tough race. As I said, putting as many as the budget would allow. Um, guys, like as, as I said, I'm really battling to see what's happening here. Um, please check for jockey changes, check for scratchings, check for betting moves. I do fancy my best bet. I really think Royal Victory is a good one. Um, if you take in doubles, I think use uh, use Royal Victory as a um, anchor in most bets. Guys, look after yourself. Take care. Let's um, have a great 2023 and break a leg. Stephen, back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for that input, the postman. I see you've tipped a nine race program out at Turfentain. Your best bet, Royal Victory. Your value bet, Brave Viking. Your bar pot, PA. Uh, I see you tipping a pick six now. Um, I know you're going close on your pick sixes. Hopefully we can tip one that arrives. And your jackpot one and jackpot two. So please, Lord, let them arrive and let our, um, our successes continue um, up until the new year. And after the new year, we've been tipping you guys winners. So please, Lord, let them continue. And I hope you guys have a fantastic um, day's racing out at Turfontaine. So all in all, enjoy, have fun, break a leg, and cheers for now.